What a beautiful thing the Lord is doing here at RCCG House of Praise. I want to congratulate all the members of the house and our beloved pastor, Eddie Dion Udofia, and the wife for the awesome work that you're doing. And uh, to congratulate Terence and Esther Atta for this wonderful thing. I think I'm the first to call them by that name. Glory to God. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Heavenly Father, we look up to you today. In this few minutes that we have, let your word come with power. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' precious name. I count it a great privilege for my friends, Pastor and um, Mrs. Adiagbo, to be given the honor to give a short exhortation on a day like this. And I'll tell you the reason why I think I qualified. <laughs> About uh, 31 years ago, I met, we both met in college, and we've been friends ever since. I've seen the transformation when he used to be a very tiny boy <laughs> to when he became a man and when he took the wife and to when Esther was born. I carried her in my hand. Yes, many years ago, I carried her in her hand, and I'm glad to be part of this today. Seeing you also very soon going to carry in your own hands your own baby too, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very briefly, I just want to share with us three things. I know if I make a mistake of staying long today, Terence will not be happy with me, and you know why. So I'll be very brief. There are three things. I want to talk about this morning the marriage mandate. The marriage mandate. Three things to always remember. Just like you heard in that church, marriage is a covenant. It was made in heaven with a lifetime warranty of the Maker. The Maker is God. And he gave a lifetime warranty to stay in the marriage. If you go to Malachi chapter 2 from verses 18 to 19, it gives us more details. And then Jesus, when he came, when the Pharisees and the Sadducees were trying to mess up marriage theory, he told them, he said, listen, from the beginning it was not so. He made them male and female. He made them for companion. He made them to stay forever together. So, the one who made the home is God Almighty. If there is anything to be fixed, just like Pastor said, don't tamper with this. If there is anything to be fixed, go to the one who gave lifetime warranty. Now, when you have a warranty and what, you are, what is warranty breaks down, what do you do? You take it back to the warrantor, if there is anything like that, and say, fix this. So can I let you know, if there is anything to fix in her life, go to the warranto. Say, Father, fix this. If there is anything to be fixed in his life, go to the warranto and say, Father, fix this in him. And he will. He's been very, very faithful. Your parents now have been married for so long a time. And you are witnesses of the joy and the beauty in their lives. Can I tell you, you can have a better one. And the warrantor will make that happen for you in Jesus' name. So always remember when there are issues, go to the one. The one who made this happen today, he is the one that can fix it. Number two thing to remember. Marriage is a combination of bitter and sweet. If I would ask how many of us have been married here for over 40 years, let me see your hands up. So the same woman, I'm not saying you've moved and moved. <laughs> the same person, 40, over 30, praise God. If you don't mind, please stand up, over 30, please stand up. Can we put our hands together for this lovely couple? Over, over 20, please stand up as well, join them. Over 10, join them as well. Hallelujah. Now. The reason why I'm showing you this is that it is possible. 
very soon we'll be talking about you. 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, 80 years with the same person if Jesus Christ tarries in the name of Jesus. Now, sorry before you sit down. Can anyone just help me answer this question? Were there times when you felt like quitting the home? Where, was there a pressure at any time? Okay, Seto, please sit down. Thank you so much. Now, the reason why I asked that question is that if somebody told you it's all sweet, sugar, honey, morning to night, that person is deceiving you. If you look at the rotation of the earth around the sun, there comes a time when it gets to a place that is dark. And in that dark, what do we do in the dark? We sleep, we rest, we catch up, we learn. That is life. And after a while, you see the dawn again, it begins to brighten up. And we oh, it's daylight. It is dark and light. Darkness and light. That's how God created everything in this world. Marriage has its own dark sides as well as light. Learn that. Keep it. Run with it. Don't ever, ever forget. So when you are in that night season, what do you do? Ask God, what do I need to learn here? It's a time to rest. It's a time to rethink. It's a time to refresh and say, Lord, teach me wisdom to know what to do now. It is not time to jump out of the window. When a train is going through the tunnel, there is always light at the end of it. If a passenger quits at that point, the only thing he has seen is the dark side, not the light. So always wait for the light. Whether long or short, it will come. That is the second thing to know. And the reason I'll give you the story of one man who has the Guinness Book of Record of having the most marriage. The guy lived up to 89 years and he was married 29 times. And they recorded it as Guinness Book of Record. So what was his story? Some of the people that he married before, particularly three of those women, he married them three times. Confusion, eh? And when he was doing all of this, his shortest marriage time was 19 days. There was time he married 19 days, this marriage ended, boom, boom, sealed. The longest he had was 11 years. And one thing that happened to him was that at the end of his life, there was nobody to bury him, including his children. In the process of his marriage experiment, he also married the woman that had the most record of marriage, who had been married 23 times. So, the most married man met the most married woman. But here is the gist that I'm bringing out from that. They asked him one question. In all of this marriage exploration that you have done, what do you have to say about marriage? Hear what he said. He said, I wish I knew what I know now. The first person I married, I will have stayed with her to the end. It made no difference jumping from one marriage to another. And can I tell you, please stay with yourselves. Stay with each other. Hold your hands in those dark moments. Pray together. God is faithful. He will hear. He will heal. He will save. He will deliver. He will make a way out. In the name of Jesus. No day ever stays dark all through. And no day ever stays as light forever. There will be dark 
and light. But make use of those opportunities that the Lord gives to you. The third thing, I don't want to be long. Am I too long? The third thing to remember today, marriage is compromise and understanding. It is not always, sir, that you will have your way. Terence, I wish I could tell you that, oh, as the head of the home, you will always make the decision. In fact, as the head, you are only head, but there is a neck that controls the head. So, if the head wants to turn and the neck says no, it stays and the straw is like, what's going on? <laughs> so, compromise is the word. Understanding. And the Bible tells us in the book of First Peter, deal with them with understanding that your prayers be not hindered. And I want to encourage you. Deal with that. Women go through a lot and lot and lot of cycles. Yes. By nature, it's not their fault. By nature, in the morning you see the hey, beautiful, oh, pretty. In the evening when you are coming back, mm. that's how they are. Because of the different, see, they are, they are an equipment and a tool. That's what the Bible calls them. Help me. Help me. Have you been to a construction site before? You see some wonderful equipment that are there. And then they are all set to get the work done. That's who a woman is. She is a help me. Look. And just like pastor said, it is what you give to her that she multiplies. Give her joy, she will give you countless joy. Give her one, I won't say it. She's a multiplier. She's a multiplier, always know it. And the onus is on you to determine the condition of the house. You wake up, you find her face is somehow... Put cheer in the atmosphere. Oh, beauty, what, beauty, what's happening? Your face doesn't look really bright. Uh, can we cheer it up a bit and cheer her up? And be the regulator in the house. The Lord God will help you in the name of Jesus. And always know you will not have your way all the time. There are times you, you succumb and say, Well, darling, what you said is what we will do. And the Lord God will help you both in the name of Jesus. And these three things, there are more, but I just limit it. So these three things, if you practice these three things daily, I can assure you as the Lord leave that this home will be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. If Jesus tarry, 90. If Jesus tarries, And not only that, you will have one, you will have twins, you have triplets, quadruplets, quintuplets, Six duplex, as you desire, in the name of Jesus. That's why God made this. So please feel at home, feel free, enjoy yourself, and the hand of the Lord God Almighty will keep your home. Shall we bow our heads as we pray for this couple? I commend you unto the hand of the Almighty God that it will preserve your home. It will keep you. It will help you. You will succeed. We have succeeded. You will succeed. I said, we have succeeded. We are passing the betting over to you. You will pass it on to your children and to your children's children. Before your eyes, you will see your own children. Get married. Have children in the name of Jesus. This union is blessed in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And for everyone here who has come and is having issues with their own home, Father in heaven, we commit those homes to your hand and say, Father, heal the homes. Show them that indeed you are the life warrantor of the marriage and help them fix the marriages to the glory and honor and praise of your holy name. And for everyone who is here who is saying, Lord, when will I have a day like this? We decree you are the next online. In the name of Jesus, as the Lord live it, you will be celebrated like this. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much.